In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can find the distance from one coordinate to another. Okay, so I'm going to go with a basic example of finding the distance between the coordinates of 1, 5 to 4, 9. Okay, I've chosen the numbers so that we get a nice answer. Okay, um, in the grand scheme of things, the method that we're going to employ here. If it was found on a core one paper or the equivalent of a non calculated paper, um, the numbers would have to be relatively nice um, in order for you to be able to work with them. Um, that's not to say that it will always be a whole number, it may well be a third, and thirds will be coming in the next chapter, okay, in the next bit. So if you're going to find the distance between two coordinates, it is effectively asking you find the length of the line joining those two points. So if we draw that line, then if we're being asked to find the length of that line, we know how to find the length of a line using Pythagoras' theorem. Now Pythagoras' theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared will allow us to determine the missing length. Let's call it c for convenience sake. So the base of the triangle is going from 1 to 4, so the base is length 3, and the height is going from 5 to 9, so it has a height of 4. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, Therefore, we have 9 plus 16 is c squared. Therefore, c squared must be 25. So c is the square root of 25, which is just 5. So I just picked a 3, 4, 5 triangle to make sure the numbers were nuts. So you can use Pythagoras' theorem to solve this problem to be able to find the distance between any two points on the Cartesian grid. Um, if... The numbers are not so nice, um, you know, I, you might have to use a calculator, but um, when it comes down to it, if you could just write the square root of a number, then that is the exact form, the exact length that you're looking for, okay? So if you have to write it as a third, uh, don't worry that you are writing it as a third, it will still likely be correct. 